I don't know if I said you're cute and you suck. Maybe I did, but... Uh, I always knew she had a lot going on, you know, in the eyes. She had great eyes. And she had this kind of fire. And I knew that if we were going to do this, I wanted her to just to be a better actress. Vanessa has is a very strong individual. And she had a way of rising to the occasion, even though her technique level, let's put it that way, was not real high at that point. She just, again, as a person, I think refused to fail. She took it as an opportunity to um, make herself an amazing actress, and that's why she was so successful on that show and why the fans loved her so much. I think what General Hospital gave her was techniques that she could count on, and every day they got stronger and stronger. Vanessa's hard work and the natural chemistry between her and her co-stars soon thrust Brenda into a love triangle between good guy Jax Jackson, played by Ingo Rademacher, and Maurice's bad boy, Sonny Corinthos. Brenda was a, a firecracker, you know, she just, she just kind of did what she wanted. Sonny's a control freak, so you can imagine how that didn't work. Um, but they truly, truly love each other. And it's all right to let people help. <laughs> that sounds pretty cute coming from you. You're still in control. I don't need anybody. Yeah. Do you remember that day? Of course. Just carrying the suitcase. <laughs> The story was a, a classic triangle. The audience loved it. On one hand, they wanted Brenda, who they loved and adored at this point, to have their hero, Jax, who would give her everything she ever wanted in life, whereas Sonny, who was a troubled, angst-ridden soul, um, Loved her passionately in an exciting and dangerous way. You had had a very mixed reaction to that to that triangle. It was split down the middle quite nicely, so that's why it worked so well. You broke my heart, and I don't know if you were always this way, and I was just too blind to see it. Were you ever really in love with me? For Vanessa, General Hospital represented a kind of personal salvation. I think acting probably saved my life because I was very self-destructive and acting gave me a home and it gave me a safe place other than therapy to, to let kind of all those old emotions out and have it be okay. Pain is going to have its day inside a human being no matter what. It's either going to do its damage or it's going to be uh, kind of put in a blender through creativity and come out as beauty and art. And I think what Vanessa did is she took all that pain and she said, my God, I can be an artist. I think she's very brave. She's willing to throw herself out there. She's willing to overcome the things she's afraid of and risk it.